Jackie spills 34 ounces of hydrocarbon in a room with dimensions of 24 feet by 53 feet by 10 feet at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum concentration of hydrocarbon in the room air is most nearly a 5.25 times 10 to the minus 1 power, b 5.25 times 10 to the minus 3 power, c 3.27 times 10 to the minus 1 power, or d 3.27 times 10 to the minus 3 power. Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will talk about evaporating spills. The rate of evaporation and the speed at which it occurs depends upon the volatility of the material. A hydrocarbon with a large percentage of light and volatile compounds will evaporate more than one with a larger proportion of heavier compounds. For example, gasoline, kerosene, and diesel, which are all light products, tend to evaporate almost completely within a few days, as opposed to a spilled heavy fuel oil, which will evaporate less quickly. As we discussed in episode 34, the vapor pressure that a single component in a mixture contributes to the total pressure in the system is called its partial pressure, and the mole fraction of a gas component in a gas or liquid mixture is equal to the volumetric fraction of that component in a gas or liquid mixture. Ultimately, we should also remember that a vapor pressure is representative of the characteristics of the material within a specific environment. The only thing that can limit the amount of material that will evaporate is the amount of material that is present within the environment from the beginning. Hydrocarbons are made up of light, medium, and heavy chemicals, and the light parts include air toxics such as benzene, xylene, toluene, and ethylbenzene that easily evaporate. Concentrations of these in the air tend to be highest during the first 24 hours of a spill, and they are extremely toxic and harmful to breathe. This problem essentially wants you to know what the maximum concentration of this material within the room is. The two steps we will take is number one, calculating what the maximum contaminant concentration is if, all the, mater if the material evaporated, and two, calculating what is the maximum concentration based on the characteristics of the room and the material. So let's get started. Calculating the maximum concentration within the room, we have the weight of the material, 34 ounces, and we have the dimensions of the room. So we can quickly calculate the concentrations. Let's convert the ounces of material to pounds and we get 1.89 pounds. Then we can convert the dimensions of the room to cubic meters and we get about 360 cubic meters. We divide the weight by the volume of the room and we get 5.25 times 10 to the minus three pounds per cubic meter as the maximum concentration within the room. Now let's calculate the concentration based on the material's characteristics. The molecular weight is 95 grams per mole and we have the room's temperature, which is equal to 297 degrees Kelvin. So let's see if we can figure out the saturation level for this material. We can figure out the volume of gram moles for this material by rearranging the ideal gas law equation to the following. We are assuming that the pressure within the room is at ambient levels, which equals one atmosphere or 760 millimeters of mercury, and using the ideal gas constant R as 0 0.08206 liters atmosphere per gram mole Kelvin, we can calculate the volume of gram moles in the room to be 24.38 liters per gram mole. We can divide the molecular weight by this volume to get the amount of hydrocarbon that can fit in each liter of the air, and we get 3.9 grams of material per liter of air. We have the vapor pressure of the material as 29 millimeters of mercury, so we can divide this partial pressure by the room's pressure of 760 millimeters of mercury to get the ratio of amount of material that has evaporated. We multiply this by our previous answer of 3.9 grams of hydrocarbon per liter of air to get the amount of material per unit volume and we get about 0.15 grams per liter of hydrocarbon that will be saturated. 
After doing some unit conversions, we calculate that this is equal to 0.33 pounds per cubic meter. This is the maximum saturation level that can be achieved within the room. Because this is greater than the actual amount of contaminant in the room, we will stick with the amount of 5.25 times 10 to the minus 3 pounds per cubic meter as our maximum concentration, which is answer B. Join us for episode 44 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.